Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Okay guys, we are answering our questions from yesterday on PATH and Lab. Remember, we're doing a CPC review study on PATH and Lab this week. So if you have not viewed my previous videos for this CPC review, particularly this week when we're doing PATH and Lab, go back and view my last three videos for this week. All right, so I'm answering the questions from yesterday, and I have additional questions for you today. So, again, this is a CPC review, and we're in the path and lab. We've done E&M, medical terminology, anesthesia, surgery, radiology, and now we're in path and lab. Here we go. Here's the answer to yesterday's questions. On yesterday, I asked... hepatic function panel code in a patient with hepatitis B serum virus chronic and the answer how would you code that hepatic function panel code in a patient with hepatitis B serum virus chronic is A80076 second question examination of blood quantitative for lithium in a patient with manic depression syndrome the answer is C80178. How'd you do on those two guys? First one is A80076 for the hepatic function panel code in a patient with hepatitis B serum virus, chronic. And then answer is C80178 for examination of blood, quantitative for lithium in a patient with manic depression syndrome. Okay, today's question. How would you code sodium, urine, in a patient with congestive heart failure? Sodium, urine, in a patient with congestive heart failure. Next question. Interpretation of a bone marrow smear in a patient with acute leukemia in remission. Is it A, 88312, B, 85097, C, 88313, or D, 88329? And one more question. The specimen is the prostate. The procedure was a transurethral resection of the prostate. How would you code the surgical pathology? Is it A, 88305? B, 88309, C, 88302, or D, 90712. All right, guys. The specimen is the prostate. The procedure was a transurethral resection of the prostate. How would you code the surgical pathology? Interpretation of a bone marrow smear in a patient with acute leukemia in remission and sodium urine in a patient with congestive heart failure. All right, guys, I'll be back tomorrow with the answer to these three questions. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.